What you guys got another video here for you. Kaspersky is now banned and this video is about what you need to know. So Kaspersky is a very popular antivirus program which a lot of people used to use and recommend to people because it was probably one of the best on the market. Unfortunately, it's based out of Russia and now the US government have officially banned the use of uh, you know, Kaspersky software. Also, the Bureau of Industry of Security have written an article explaining exactly why they've banned it. I'll leave a link for all this information in the video description. At current, Kaspersky users have until September 29th, 2024 to switch to a new online protection software. On that day, updates will cease. In fact, the Department of Commerce uh, shared this message. I would encourage you in as strong as possible terms to immediately stop using Kaspersky software and switch uh, to a alternative in order to protect yourself and your data and your family. So pretty harsh words there. Now the Bureau of Industry and Security have broken it down into four sections to let you know the reasoning behind why they have banned their software. So the jurisdiction control and direction of the Russian government, and you can read all of the other information right underneath right there. Access to sensitive US customer information through administrative privileges. And also we've got capability or opportunity to install malicious software uh, and withhold critical updates. And the other one is third party integration of Kaspersky products. And there's more information there. You can go right away through that and read this. I'll leave all this information in the video description now due to the circumstances of what's going on in the world right now and the company being russian unfortunately uh, this has been an ongoing problem for kaspersky and it's now been the last now in the coffin for kaspersky now of course it's going to be uh, really difficult for a lot of people because a lot of people have kaspersky on their system some people may have their licenses just renewed and of course by uh, September 29th, 2024, they are not going to be able to receive updates. And there's a lot of concern about this on Kaspersky's forums. People are asking questions and some people are even saying that they've just renewed their subscription and now they're being told that they are not going to receive updates after September 29th, 2024. So do they get refunds? If you have any sort of questions like that, then head over to the Kaspersky forum. Now, Eugene Kaspersky who created a Kaspersky software, basically resides in Russia. And of course, with all what's going on in the world right now, there's a lot of uh, distrust. And of course, this is obviously a big concern for the US government. And this is the probably the reason why they've put sanctions on Kaspersky itself. Now, of course, that means if you do have Kaspersky uh, antivirus software or security software on your PC, it's not going to receive any more updates after September 29th, 2024. So it's going to be basically useless to you. And that's the reason why they are recommending and encouraging you to uninstall it immediately and use another alternative. Now, if you've paid for this software just recently, then you may need to take this up with uh, Kaspersky itself or take it up with uh, their complaints department and see if you can get your money back. I'm not too sure what's going to happen there, but it's quite a complex situation and there's a lot of uh, information about it on the internet. I'll try and leave as much information as I can for those people that are using Kaspersky. Now, Kaspersky are aware of the decision that the uh, US government have made, but they've also said that the decision does not affect uh, the company's ability to sell and promote cyber threat intelligence offerings and training. So now Kaspersky haven't given up just yet, and they do have over 26 years of experience and succeeded in missions of building a safer future by protecting over a billion devices. But unfortunately, if this spreads across Europe and the whole of the West, then that could be the end of Kaspersky as we know it. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see how it pans out. Now, McAfee know that Kaspersky have a huge uh, user base. And basically what they've done is made a massive article about the decision from the US government and how you can conveniently uh, jump ship to McAfee. And uh, that's basically what they're saying on their article here. Now, McAfee have been around for many, many years and they're no new kid on the block. And they're definitely taking this opportunity to try to get some of uh, Kaspersky's user base to 
uh, uninstall and go straight over to McAfee. And of course, McAfee are using this opportunity to try to get you to uninstall uh, Kaspersky and get over to McAfee with a discount. And that's exactly what they're doing right here. But they do tell you how to uninstall the software and exactly what the US government have said and why they're banning it. They break it all down just like everywhere else does. So basically, the US government previously took action against Kaspersky in 2017 when the Department of Homeland Security issued a directive requiring uh, federal agencies to remove and discontinue the use of Kaspersky branded products on federal information systems. Additionally, the National Defense Authorization Act of NDAA for the year of 2018 prohibited the use of Kaspersky by federal governments. In addition, in March 2022, the US Federal Communications uh, Commission added to its list of communications equipment and services that pose a threat to national security. The information security products, solutions and services supplied directly and indirectly by Kaspersky. Now, Kaspersky have been around for a very long time. It's one of the leading uh, antivirus softwares out there. Now, my job is not to have an opinion or condemn, uh, you know, Kaspersky, but my job is to give you the news just in case some of my audience are using Kaspersky and they will know that come September, they will need to uninstall Kaspersky because uh, they will not receive any more updates for it. And even if you've paid for it, you will just not be able to update it. And that means it's going to leave you vulnerable. Now, what are your options? Well, Bitdefender is another really good alternative as well. And uh, you're not going to have any problems with Bitdefender uh, because obviously it's not under any sort of restrictions. And whether you go for just the antivirus program, they do offer a free version as well. And or whether you want internet security where you'll get a firewall and things like that, just have a look at some of their specification and comparisons and you can choose which one suits you. Now, obviously, there's some other antivirus programs out there and you can even use the Windows Defender that is built into Windows. And uh, once you have this on your system, you should be OK. It's not the best, but if you're a bit more careful on what you're clicking on and things like that, I'm using ESET at the moment, but that is now run out and I'm due to renew my license and I will probably change to another uh, antivirus software and I'll probably go for Bitdefender and go down the internet security route with that one because I prefer to uh, change it up every now and again just so I can keep you guys informed of what the best antivirus programs are. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.